All right, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all these numbers of uh, the first Dino Pool. This is prior to the Power Commander being installed. So this power, this uh, this Dino Pool was done at Kaler May Sports uh, in Marietta, Marietta, Georgia. Real great people up there. They do pretty much all the work on my bike. Do amazing work. Great people up there. Great prices. Great environment. Um, if y'all in the Atlanta area, Georgia area, wherever, if you want to travel out here, check those guys out. They are official. But anyway, let's check out these numbers. So right here, uh, we got 176 horsepower. This is after the BT Moto Flash. We got 176 horsepower, right? This is the BT Moto Stage 2 Flash. And this is what our curb looks like here. Got a few dips, you know what I'm saying? But overall, it's putting out nice power, and the bike feels great, honestly. It it really feels great after that uh, brand tune Stage 2 Flash and, uh, and that air filter in there. Here's where we have the issue, down here with our air fuel ratio, okay? A uh, perfect air fuel ratio, to my knowledge, is supposed to be around in this 13-1 area, right? Where this red line goes through. I don't know if you guys can see that good. My bad if you can't, but it's supposed to be right there. Ride the line or as close to the line as possible. Here we have major dips right here. Major dips, right? So what this means right here, when it dips like this, is means it's rich. Now, when it's rich, that means it's putting out more fuel than it needs to. So if you look at your exhaust and the back of your exhaust is like super dark or whatever, whatever, it's because the air fuel, uh, the air fuel ratio is like way off and it's rolling super rich. So we got the Power Commander 5 to install and try to fix this. So the bike will run better and be more fuel efficient. We'll get a better throttle response, all of that. So we got this initial pull and then we went ahead and ordered the Power Commander 5 and I'll show you guys the difference. All right, y'all right here, we got the Dino Jet Power Commander 5, baby. All right, got Kawasaki. ZX-10R. Not sure if y'all can see that, but it's on here. I'm gonna open this bad boy up, see what's inside. Still got him sealed up. So let's get into it. All right, let's open this bad boy up. See what we got in here. Looks like we got some wire connections to connect to the fuel injectors got the actual power commander here got some instructions as well i'm pretty much keep all this stuff in a box the way it is so that when i take it over to kaler main then be able to install it without having to look for all kind of stuff but i'm gonna show y'all what we looking like when we get over to kaler main power commander 5 baby that's what's coming in the box Thinking about putting this on, I thought all you had to do was just put this shit in here and connect it to that. Oh shit! I no. didn't even realize you had to do all that. Oh That's yeah, why all, I, all this stuff connects like up under here, and this shit is hard to get to on this bike. Yeah. Way down there. That's why I understand it now. Because when I first heard the price, I'm like, damn. Then I looked it up. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm green. I had yeah. to figure it out. Oh yeah. So these basically connecting to the fuel injector. Some of them. The, the first part is, th those are, this is going somewhere else, that's going to somewhere else. Okay. And this is actually, yeah, this goes where the thing at. I'll find it in a second. Yeah. But yeah, it all, it all hooks up. Okay. Yeah, these are the things that open up. Yeah, that's a fuel injector. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's the, the throttle body, yeah. The mm -hmm. blades open up, yeah. So you really had to take all this shit out. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> this ain't no quick little 30 minute right job. Mm. I can't get to that plug with the airbox on there. No. Yeah, you damn right gotta do some work to even get it out of there. It's yep. such a tight play. Yep. But that's basically what they're doing when they design these bikes. They gotta put a whole bunch of components in a small place. So now, I will say this. I know how I'm gonna do it. For years, I'm talking years, road rest. What we found is that an MR12 mount and a first gas mount are crazy similar. Crazy. I think I got an MR12 map on here with this, uh, with that flash. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This bad boy in here, and you in the game. But you had to hook all that shit up. You gotta dig a little bit. In there looking clean, too. Appreciate that, bro. Those are DID chains we were just talking about, right? They're expensive. So we back rocking and rolling. This is after the Power Commander 5 installed by Kaler May Sports. Okay, we got this bad boy installed on here. Now this is a real process. It takes some time. This this took about four hours to get this bad boy dialed in because they got to go through each gear and they go through all the RPM ranges, not just the top end. They go through the low end too, so it's perfect for cruising around on the streets. Now. I got the horsepower numbers blocked out because I know y'all love the horsepower numbers and everybody wants to see horsepower, 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 horsepower. Yeah, horsepower. How much power is it putting out? Hey, what's up with that? Y'all going to have to wait on those numbers. But just know, it's off the chain. We got a substantial improvement in horsepower with this bad boy. Y'all going to have to wait for that or y'all going to have to catch me in person and ask for those numbers. But we're not about to put all that information out on the internet. We don't do that. So when you see my bike, you don't know what it's doing. Just know it's a bad mouth. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's get down to these numbers. All right, let's break these bad boys down. The red line, we got a red line, we got a blue line, and we got a green line. It's kind of hard to see it, but just bear with me. You can get the gist of it if you can make out the colors. Now, the red line is the initial brand tuned flash. First one sent through. Now these flashes are like an estimate. You kind of tell them, you know, the stuff that you got done to the bike and whatever, whatever they do, whatever, and work their numbers and send you back a flash. So this is way off of the mark, way off of the mark, looking like a roller coaster. It's fuel going everywhere, you, you know what I'm saying? But mind you, the bike runs good. It's just the fuel, the air fuel ratio isn't right. So I sent a message to Brent Tune and they sent me a different flash to kind of help out with it, you know, to make an adjustment with it. So it made the adjustment to where it's at this blue line. See, it's a huge fix in it after they made the adjustment here's the thing about that though 
if I have to constantly like send an email to get a new flash, you know what I mean, to check things out, I got to take it over to the dyno and get them to run it on the dyno and be like, okay, this is off. Uh, can you fix this? Each time I take it to the dyno, it costs money. These dyno runs are not free. They're expensive as hell. So you can't keep doing that. So how do you fix that? PC5, Power Commander 5, which takes us to the green line. The green line is the run after the Power Commander 5 installed. It's all right here. It's hard to see it. It's damn near on that line, right? That is almost perfect air fuel ratio. Now, this takes time to do. It takes a lot of work to do this. It takes hours to complete this and get this dialed in like this. But that's what you get when you buy a Power Commander 5 and you pay that money for the installation. You have a well-running machine now. Fuel efficient. Fuel efficient means better gas mileage, means better power delivery, means better throttle response, means more life for the bike, right? So it's well worth it to get that Power Commander 5 and have that piggyback on top of your ECU flash if you, you know, serious about like your everyday ride and your track ride and hitting the twisties and stuff like that. Now, if you're just going out there roll racing or if you just want something that puts out stupid power, you know what I mean? You're not worried about all the air fuel ratio by any means. Get you a flash that's just putting out those crazy numbers. That's cool. But over here, we do it for real. We do this for real, for real. And we don't mind paying that money or doing what we need to do to get this bad boy dialed in. This is a 2021 ZX-10R. I'm going to have this bike for a while. So I want this bad boy running good. All right? Now, if you want to get this bad boy installed, holler at Kayla May. They do a great job. Uh, like I said, man, it's a great environment up there. Real cool people. And they tell you what's going on. It's not like some other places where you take the bike there and they install your bike, like in install stuff on your bike and you don't get to see it until it come out. You can actually see them installing stuff on your bike. It's like going to one of those restaurants and you can see them cooking the food in front of you like hibachi. Like, you know, there ain't no funny business going on, right? So check them out. Get that bad boy stall. This is Chill Feel, six gear cut low. And we signing out, baby. Peace.